so today we're going to be discussing two different types of hyperbaric chambers offered to the general public. The first one being medical grade hyperbaric chambers, also referred to as R chambers. The second one being mild hyperbaric chambers, often referred to as soft chambers. Here at Auction Oasis Hyperbaric Center, we use medical grade hyperbaric chambers, aka hard chambers. The main difference between a hard hyperbaric chamber and a soft hyperbaric chamber is obviously the hundreds of oxygen concentration you can get, as well as a targeted depth. Simply meaning a soft hyperbaric chamber or mild chamber can only reach a pressure level of 1.3 atmospheres or between 10 and 11 feet of seawater. And the maximum oxygen you can get in a soft chamber is 24%. Versus a hard hyperbaric chamber where you can get 100% oxygen and up to 60 feet of seawater or three atmospheres. <clears throat> the deeper targeted pressures allow for deeper tissue penetration allow for better healing outcomes, and we can go from a variety of treatments. From neurological treatments, which are generally treated at 1.5 atmospheres, down to severe wounds, or osteomyelitis, could be treated at two atmospheres or above, from 33 feet below sea level and above. Um, the increased ratio of a hard chamber versus soft chamber can be seen in the simple outcome of like a 10 to one. So for example, 10 treatments in a soft chamber equals one treatment in a hard chamber. The reason being for faster healing process times because the 100% oxygen, which helps promote faster healing and new blood cells at the point of injury, which you cannot achieve in a soft chamber. Despite the fact that it's helped with inflammation, it does not promote the healing that you can get in a hyperbaric chamber, hard medical grade hyperbaric chamber, due to the 100% oxygen you're receiving. In conclusion, all medical studies in the hyperbaric world have been conducted in a medical grade hard shell chamber like the ones we have here at the Oxford Oasis Hyperbaric Center. For more information, please visit the UHMS website or also known as the Undersea Hyperbaric Medical Society webpage for more information. Thank you so much.